Welcome to Manifestation. So as you're sitting there, shift and get nice and comfortable. Take a deep breath in and relax. And think about what you want. Think about something you truly want to have as the music kicks in. And remember that as we go through the release today, we're going to release all of the resistance of now. All of your resistance from that gestalt of this entire life. All of the resistance from anything that was passed down to you generationally. Anything that was from a previous life, and even perhaps the deepest and most complete release, which is anything that has been accepted unconsciously from society or from all of humanity or from just an aspect of being human. So remembering, of course, that sometimes our eyes can be our greatest obstacle in life. Because what we see we want and what we want creates desire. And it's the essence of that desire that we want to release and let go of to allow ourselves to have what we really want to have do what we really want to do and be what we really want to be. So just take a deep breath in and release that desire now. Because desire is based on having something externally, which many times leads to shame and guilt. So just notice any shame or guilt you may or may not have through the attainment of that goal, that desire from yourself or society. And let that go now. Because remembering that desire means that there's something that we don't have that we want. And not having it leads to self-judgment of shame and guilt. And as you release that shame and guilt now, that might lead you to a position of just not caring, of apathy. But the thing is, you can release that as well. And the reason the apathy kicks in is because of the sadness that we have by accepting the fact that we don't have what we most desire. So just release that grief and that sadness now. Release that grief and the sadness now. Remembering, of course, that that just might kick in the fear of what happens if we don't have it. Because after all, isn't that what brought us up to the desire of wanting it to begin with? The fear and the scarcity of what happens if we don't. So just notice any fear around that goal and release it now. And as you release the fear, notice the desire kicks in again. The desire for that goal. And this time, of course, as you release the desire, you might have a perception of anger. That stimulant of anger. A 
of feeling wronged because we don't have it. For some reason, externally, that anger that keeps us the victim is the eyes deceive us because of those external events and just release that anger now. And as you release the anger, notice that pride may kick in. After all, who doesn't love the pride of the success of the goal? But even here with pride, we're still wanting external recognition for the achievements that we made. still a negative emotion. And pride always goes before a fall. So just release the pride now. Release the pride. and have the courage to let go. And as you think of that goal, do a scan in your unconscious mind one last time. And that goal for your greatest and highest good, just release any shame from having it personally or socially. Release any guilt for allowing yourself to have it, personally, socially. Release any moments of apathy or not caring, personally and emotionally. Release any sadness as you have it personally or socially. Releasing any of the fear of how it will change your life personally or socially. Release the desire for it personally, socially. Release any last anger of not having it for so long personally, socially, for being wrong. Release the pride, seeking that external reinforcement, validation, personally and socially. And as you do, release all of those one last time. <laughs> Have the courage. Just notice the courage to have it be okay whether you have it or not. That neutrality. Just let it go. And in that moment of neutrality, in your moment now. Notice the faintest or the strongest stirrings of just a willingness to allow yourself to have it easily and effortlessly. Notice the power of your thought, your feelings, your intention. Being willing and open to just accept, just accept it. And notice how good it feels to just accept the gift for the greatest and highest good.
and release the reason and the logic. All of that between who, what, why, where, and when. Release the conscious mind. Release needing to know who, what, why, where, when, how. Just let it go. As you accept it. Trusting. And now. Notice yourself. Whole and healed and complete. Having accepted the goal into your life. Having it be ecological for you. You and your family. You and those closest to you. You and your business associates. You and your business. You with your health. You with your spirituality. You with your finances. Notice the highest levels of ecology. And having accepted that into your life. Having released those resistances, notice the most profound sense of love. Notice that for the greatest and the highest good. Just allow that infinite source of love and healing energy. Flowing up through your feet. up through your calves, all the way up into your pelvis, really filling that up with love and light. And release anything as it comes up through your abdominal area. Letting it fill up through your chest your heart, all the way up through your fingers, your arms, your shoulders, letting it fill you up through the base of your neck, your head, until it overflows out through the top of your head. Then just imagine it going up above your head. Let that love fill you up, whole and healed and complete. In between all the quantum particles of your being. And just send it all the way up through your head, higher and higher. Up to God, your higher self. Full of love and gratitude. Sending and sharing that love and energy with anyone else who has that same goal. And notice again that goal for your greatest and highest good. And with all the willingness, acceptance, openness, and trust. Highest levels of love and now joy and peace. I 
having given that energy. Let the rain of God's blessings fall down upon you. As you breathe in and release. Continue to let this rain of God's blessings fall down upon you, to you, and through you. And breathe that energy back down through you and out your heart. All the way out into your future. Saying thank you. greatest and highest good. just sit in the highest level of 